hello dear students welcome to this session in this session let us understand how to write the electron dot structure for the various compounds firstly we have to start by writing the electronic configuration of all the atoms which are present in the molecule see look at here we have a molecule here i have a molecule of water correct so if we have to write the electron dot structure firstly we have to write the electronic configuration of all the atoms present in this molecule now looking at this we can easily identify that this molecule contain the atoms of hydrogen as well as the atoms of oxygen correct so now we have to write the electronic configuration for both hydrogen and oxygen if we have to write the electronic configuration then we should know what is the atomic number of this particular element what is the atomic number of hydrogen it is 1 and what about the oxygen it is 8 correct so by looking at the atomic number we can write the electronic configuration that is the electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1 followed by the oxygen is 2,6 you know why it is 2,6 correct because we know it is depending on the number of electrons which can accommodate on shells on the first shell it can accommodate 2 whereas on the second shell it can accommodate 8 but as it is having only 6 electrons which are left after filling by first shell so second shell will be having only 6 electrons clear so after writing the electronic configuration now by looking at the electronic configuration of each atom that is hydrogen as well as oxygen identify how many electrons are needed by each atom to attain the noble gas configuration see we have hydrogen and we also have oxygen by looking at their electronic configuration just look at them and understand how many more electrons are needed by them to attain the noble gas configuration what is noble gas configuration that means the outermost shell should be satisfied with the electrons it should have eight number of electrons but in case of hydrogen as hydrogen is having only one shell that is the k shell k shell can accommodate maximum two number of electrons as a result of this hydrogen need only one extra electron to satisfy its shell clear by looking at the oxygen we can understand there are six electrons on the orbit of oxygen and oxygen need two more electrons to satisfy its shell that means to obtain the octet configuration correct so now what we have to do first we have to write the electronic configuration to write the electron dot structure and by looking at the electronic configuration we have to identify that how many more electrons are needed by that particular atom to obtain the noble gas configuration clear and the next step is remember before writing the next step please remember the atomic number of that particular element as well as electronic configuration so after doing all these things in the next step what you have to do is we have to share we have to share the electrons between the atoms in such a way that all the atoms in the molecule should have the noble gas configuration for example suppose if we have the molecule of water here so this molecule of water contain hydrogen and oxygen suppose if we are sharing the electron between the hydrogen and oxygen if we are sharing the electrons we have to share the electrons in such a way that both hydrogen and oxygen to should have the noble gas configuration they should obtain the noble gas configuration and also please keep in the mind that when you share the electrons that is when you are sharing the electron between hydrogen and oxygen here the electrons which are shared are also counted in the valence shell of both the atoms for example see hydrogen is having one that is one electron on its orbit whereas oxygen is having six valence electron on the outermost orbit correct so as we are writing for h2o here there there are two atoms of hydrogen correct so each 
hydrogen atom share one electron with the oxygen so here when the electrons are shared between oxygen and when oxygen is sharing the electron between hydrogen it is counted the electrons are counted in the valence shell of both the atoms that is in the atom of hydrogen as well as in the oxygen clear so these are the steps which we have to follow to write the electron dot structure the first and foremost thing is you should know the atomic number second thing is you have to know their electronic configuration by looking at the electronic configuration we have to write the number of electrons on the surface of that particular atoms then try to make them to obtain the noble gas configuration and also keep in the mind that when you're sharing the electrons those electrons are counted that means the electron present in the valence shell are counted clear now let us take the example of hydrogen molecule molecule means it is two atoms of hydrogen let us take the hydrogen molecule oxygen molecule and nitrogen molecule and understand how do they form the covalent bond or how can we write the electron dot structure for these molecules let us understand now here first let us understand how to write the electron dot structure for the single hydrogen atom we all know that there are certain steps the first step is to write the to know their atomic number here the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 what about their electronic configuration it is also 1 correct and also i told you that you should look at the atom and you should identify that how many more electrons are needed for that particular atom to obtain the noble gas configuration here as i have the hydrogen they are present on the first shell that is it is on the k shell k shell can obtain maximum two electrons already there is one electron for hydrogen and hydrogen can obtain one more electron it can accommodate one more electron on its surface so how many electrons are needed for this shall it require one more electron if hydrogen receive one more electron on its shell it can obtain or achieve the noble gas configuration clear so this is for single hydrogen atom so if we look at for look for the hydrogen molecule that means it contains two atoms of hydrogen correct and each atom of hydrogen has single valence electron when we look at the hydrogen molecule there are two atoms of hydrogen and each atom of hydrogen has one valence electron surrounded by it here by looking at two hydrogen atoms we can easily make the bond between them that that means this hydrogen can share one electron sorry here it will receive the one electron from the opposite hydrogen atom and this hydrogen atom also receive one electron from the opposite hydrogen atom thereby hydrogen now obtain two electrons on its shell and it has a feeling that it obtained the noble gas configuration now it has achieved noble gas configuration and the bond between a bond formed between two hydrogen atom is the covalent bond this bond is covalent bond because electrons are being shared this hydrogen neither donate the electron or this hydrogen not receive the electron in spite they have shared the electrons between them and the bond formed is the covalent bond clear now let us look at the next electron dot structure for the oxygen so here firstly i have a single atom of oxygen so you know there are certain steps firstly we have to know the atomic number atomic number of oxygen is 8 thereby its electronic configuration is 2,6 and looking at the number of valence electrons now how many more electrons are needed for this particular oxygen atom to obtain the noble gas configuration correct it need two more electrons correct so by sharing two electrons along with this particular oxygen atom we can make the oxygen atom to obtain the noble gas configuration so we have identified now how many electrons are needed correct So now let us understand how to write the electron dot structure for oxygen molecule that is two atoms of oxygen 
by now we have understood that how many valence electrons are there on the oxygen there are six valence electrons which are present on the oxygen each atom of oxygen contains six valence electron and we also came to a clear picture that oxygen required two extra electrons to achieve the noble gas configuration so this oxygen atom share if firstly this will receive okay this oxygen atom will receive two electrons from the opposite oxygen atom and here also the opposite oxygen atom also receives two electrons from this particular oxygen thereby now you can see both the oxygen atoms have eight electrons on their orbit thereby they have a feeling that they obtained the noble gas configuration they have stability now because they have eight electrons on their shell so this is how we write the electron dot structure for the oxygen here you can observe so here you can see that both oxygen atoms are having six valence electrons and this particular oxygen atom received two from here and this will receive two from here thereby they obtain the noble gas configuration and the bond which is formed between these two oxygen atoms are the covalent bond because oxygen neither donated the electron or nor received the electrons in spite they have shared the electrons the bond formed is the covalent bond clear now let us understand the next that is nitrogen atom so let us now write the electron dot structure for the nitrogen the first step is to know the atomic number what is the atomic number of nitrogen 7 and its electronic configuration is 2 comma 5 so by looking at the electronic configuration now we have an idea that as it is having five electrons on the outer orbit it require three more electrons to satisfy its shell or to obtain the noble gas configuration correct and as it need three electrons nitrogen need three electrons it will share the three electrons from the opposite atom thereby it will obtain the noble gas configuration clear now let us see how the nitrogen molecules will share the electron between them so nitrogen molecule is having two atoms of nitrogen correct and each atom of nitrogen it has five valence electrons which are surrounded by it please you have you should have an idea that if an atom is required by two electrons then you should focus two electrons towards the opposite atom if it is required by three electrons then you have to focus three electrons towards the opposite what is focusing see for example nitrogen have five valence electron and it need three so if it require 3 3 electrons should be focused towards this particular nitrogen then only it can share if i only focus one electron how can it share 3 correct so as nitrogen require 3 electrons i am focusing 3 electrons towards the opposite atom of nitrogen and rest of the two electrons i can write anywhere similarly this atom of nitrogen is also having the five valence electron so now i have the nitrogen molecule as both are needed by three more electrons this particular nitrogen takes three from the opposite atom of nitrogen and this also takes three electrons from the opposite nitrogen thereby now both the nitrogens are having the eight electrons on their surface and have a feeling that they have obtained the stability they have achieved the noble gas configuration clear so we have understood how to write the electron dot structure by following some simple steps so this is how we write the electron dot structure in my next slide i will be explaining how to write the electron dot structure for methane as well as the ammonia thank you